Now to a story still developing this evening in South City. Questions remain in the shooting of two 15 year old girls. Those shots were fired around 630 this morning in the Dutchtown neighborhood that was near South Compton and Gasconade. One of those girls remains hospitalized at this hour, and we are hearing several neighbors rush to help the girls just moments after those shots were fired. News source Russell Kinsall is live at five with their stories. Russell. Well, even though one of the girls was shot in the side, the other grazed in the arm, they didn't stay here in the alley where they were shot. They ran through this vacant lot and around the corner of that house to try to get some help. At the same time that this is happening, there are grandparents and parents of other school age children getting them ready for school. And to hear gunshots at that hour of the morning was a real shock. She was scared to death. Samantha Fox's granddaughter was getting ready for school when the shots rang out. Shortly after 6.30 this morning, the sound came from the alley behind her house on South Compton. She come run to the front, and she was like, oh, my God, what happened? Somebody's shooting, and oh, she was shaking. Justin Ortwine lives one block over on Virginia and heard the shots, too, then went outside. The two girls ran over here after the gunshots. Uh, one had a little mark on her arm. She said Gra the bullet grazed her. The other one had a shot uh, right above the kidney. He said he heard a total of eight shots fired. He said he spoke briefly with the girls before getting them inside to safety and to call 911. They said two boys were chasing them. I saw two boys at the corner from the top. They had guns, so they don't. After they saw me, they just went back. The shooting happened when other kids were on their way to bus stops or walking to school. A neighbor said one of the girls said they were on their way to school, but police say the girl shot in the side refused to cooperate with the investigation. I don't know if they were on their way to the bus stop or not. I don't know what they were doing. They said they were, but it didn't matter to me. Ortwine said he's known one of the girls for several years and just wanted to help. I just made sure she uh, called the police and an ambulance and make sure she put pressure on the wound. Two neighbors who woke to the sound of the gunshots but didn't want to be interviewed said gunfire is so common in the area that they just went back to sleep after hearing the gunshots. Every night we hear gunshots, yes. When the sun go down, it's shooting all over. The girl that had the graze wound to her arm was treated at the hospital and released. The girl with the gunshot wound to her side is still in the hospital, listed in critical condition. Live in Dutchtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4.